I don't know how people crack their phone like they crack eggs like welcome or welcome back to my channel it's your girl Gloria here and as you can see by the title today I'm gonna to be taking you guys Black Friday shopping with me but at the thrift store I haven't been to the thrift store in a little minute and I'm so excited to go I really hope I get some great pieces I know it's gonna be super packed and, and super busy but I figured I might as well take you guys with me you're basically just gonna to get to spend the day with me All right guys, so I just left the thrift store and I feel like I got some pretty good pieces. Usually this place is a lot more impressive than what it was today, but I'm not tripping about it. Like usually I could get a bomb pair of shoes for a really good price, but today was just not the day. I don't know if it was because I wasn't in the mood to search or if they were slacking, I honestly don't know, but I'm going to wash the clothes today and then I'm gonna show you guys what they look like on so I could show you the full scope. I really feel like I got some bomb pieces, especially for the winter time. Like I was more so focused on long sleeves and any statement pieces that I feel like just bring outfits together. I like statement pieces that I could just chill with, you know? So I'll show you guys what they look like in a little bit. Is it golden hour already? So right now I'm going to Walmart because my sister needed a few things from there. And I don't know if I'm gonna buy anything here. Maybe, maybe not, we'll see. If they have Black Friday deals on their clothes, I probably will buy something. But we'll see, like I said before. walking into the house the ups guy came and guess what came in the mail your girl's phone Ooh. yes i film all my videos on my phone so i'm super excited about the iphone 12. i currently have the iphone xr in the color yellow and i ordered the iphone 12 and i'm just so excited guys like i'm gonna open it i ordered my case like a week ago so this is what my case looks like and I got the bumper proof case cause I can't, I can't have my phone cracking. I don't know how people crack their phone like they crack eggs. Like to me, I spend way too much money on my phone for me to be just cracking it. But basically now this is a thrift haul and an unboxing of my iPhone 12. Look at it guys. I got it in the color gold. Oh my gosh, so precious. I have to be careful. Like I said, I don't want to crack it. This is what it comes with, classic. This is what it looks like. I'm really trying not to get any prints on it. So pretty. Ah. And in the box, it comes with the charger cord, I guess, or whatever, but no box. Apple, where's the box? So it's literally just the cord. Um, But I think, Oh shoot, cause it's 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 a special it's I think the new iPhones charge on um the little thing. Y'all know what I'm talking about? The little charger that you just lay it flat. Dang, I wish I knew I would have ordered it ahead of time. But that's all that comes in the box. 
and I'll come back when I put my little screen protector that I also got from Amazon on the phone to show y'all what it looks like. in the case and everything i've put the screen protector on all that stuff usually with my cases i get bumper shop cases because this is the most to me the cutest way to get a case that's not bulky um but it still protects your phone like i currently have a bumper proof case on the phone that i'm recording with now and i drop it all the time like all the time and there's no cracks on the screen or anything like that but yeah guys this is what it looks like i'm gonna start setting it up soon but actually before i do any of that i'm gonna finish recording this video with the try on haul one week later all right guys so this is the first piece i wanted to show you it's a button down tan top i love it it's giving me 90s vibes as you can see with the material it's kind of giving me nude slash nubbuck vibes but it's not which i'm so happy about because suede and Nubbuck are so hard to clean, but this was not hard to clean at all. It was super easy to clean. The material came out super nice. I got it in a size large. I just love how oversized it is. And the material is very great quality. It's nice and thick. I could wear it by itself. I could wear it open with a turtleneck. Like I, there's so much versatility with this top. I'm so happy with it. Personally, I would wear it with some leather leggings, some boots, and a hat and be good to go. This is such a great find. I'm very happy that I found it. I like the little buttons that it has. Everything about this shirt is just great, great. 10 out of 10 for me. All right, guys, so this is the next top that I got. It's a nice little gold, you know, very regal, you know, giving you fancy. I like it. I got it in a size large. I love the color. I just feel like it's missing something. So I'm going to add something to it that I feel like is going to flare it up. Now look at it. I put a little corset in the middle, baby. Ooh, taking it to the next level. I love it. What do you guys think? Did you like it without the corset or with it? I feel like with the corset, I am serving. I basically serve Thanksgiving dinner and I'm serving Christmas dinner too. Like, just be ready, you know? Like, I feel like it looks so nice with the little corset. Ooh, I'm so happy I grabbed this piece. I do like it without the corset though. It's very regal. I like the little puffy sleeves. I like the color. I love the material. It looks like a, like a satin type thing very 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 nice thank you salvation army you did me right okay all right guys so the next two pieces i want to show you is this nice black long line blazer blazers you can never go wrong with them especially if it's a nice solid basic color like black i've been needing a nice long line blazer for a minute and i also wanted to show you guys this turtleneck teal top it is sleeveless and I bought it for the sake of layering. This top also has a nice little opening on the side, but I didn't buy it for that. I literally just bought it because I love the color and I'm super excited to layer it with something. Maybe not this blazer, but maybe something else. Like I kind of, maybe I could wear tan with it. I have some snakeskin leather pants that I feel like would go really well with this top, but we'll see. Otherwise, I really like the top. I love um the material this is very thick knit material like i could show you very good like this is not cheap at all like salvation army did their thing but this blazer is super nice it's only got one button i don't like blazers that have too many buttons i just feel like it's too much going on and that doesn't it has two pockets on the side i believe it's in a size 10 so it's nicely oversized for me which is what i wanted but if you are in need of a blazer, go to Salvation Army. You will not be disappointed. <laughs> oh, All right, guys. So this next piece that I got, okay, this next piece that I got is a little bit on the extra side, but it's very fabulous. I got this fur vest. This is fire. When I saw this, 
I was like, oh my gosh, I need to get it. And it was so cheap. And it even had the tags still on it from the original clothing place. I believe this is in a size medium. I love it so much. I can't wait to style it for the winter. And it's getting cold outside already in Florida. So nobody knows how to act. We're going to pull out all of our winter fits. But this is it. It's a nice vest. I'll wear this with a turtleneck or with this long sleeve, as you can see, and some boots. And baby, that's it. That is really all you need. This vest already talks for you. Like, come on. Talk to the vest. Don't talk to me. Okay? Thanks. Next piece is a nice little basic white button down. There's not really much to it. I got it in a size large. There's a little opening here, but I probably will just pin it. I got it for layering purposes. It's very nice. Salvation Army surprisingly had a lot of them. So I'll probably go back and find me an extra large one just so it doesn't have this weird opening thing and I don't have to worry about pinning it at all. I could just throw it on. It's got these nice little buttons on the side as well so I could button it. It's giving me very much business casual. It's very, very stretchy like very stretchy very comfortable i'll probably tuck it in but i like it i think it's a great basic to have in your closet if you watch any of my fashion videos i will always rave about basics if you want to build your style you have to start with the basics the foundation so this is a great foundation piece they have plenty more like i said before so if you want something like this check out the thrift store before you check out high-end retailers but i'm pretty sure this was expensive because the way that this is set up oh my gosh the material the way that it stretches i know that this must have been expensive this is the last piece that i'm going to show you guys from the thrift store this is a texas a and m nike puffer jacket i believe i got this for 12 dollars. it was 25 and then i got half off or some, something around that. This is a really nice puffer jacket. I got it in the men's section. I love this color. And guys, for me to get this for $12, and it's Nike, collegiate jackets like this easily come up to like 100. So I really got a deal. It was almost basically 90% off. This is amazing. I love the material. I'm so excited to wear it. I specifically was looking for a puffer jacket. So when I found this, I felt like I hit the gold mine. I love, 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 love the color. And obviously because it's Nike, it's gonna be great material. Keeps me really warm for those days that are super cold. Or if I'm out of town and it's cold, you know, I could pull this out my out of my box of tricks you know what i mean Let me know what you guys think down below if this was a really good deal i mean usually these are a hundred dollars and your girl got it for 12 12 come on all right guys so as i mentioned before i went to walmart and i got two graphic tees this is one of them it's a foot loose tee i got it from the men's section in a size medium if you're looking for bomb graphic tees for the low low go to walmart this is eight bucks usually shirts like this would be way more expensive but it's not and the material is so soft i kind of wish i got it in a size large or extra large because i like my graphic tees to be oversized but this still works it's very nice i can make me make a girly outfit with this instead of a streetwear outfit but i love it this is the second graphic tee that i got from walmart this is in a size large from the men's section it's a pink floyd tee very nice, very vintage, like, it just doesn't get any better than this. $8 for a shirt like this? Urban Outfitters would have you paying 40. Yes, $40 for a shirt, bye. That's why we got Walmart. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Share with your friends who spend a little bit too much money on clothes, baby. Put them on so they could save some. I love y'all and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.